Good morning, Mr. Brown here. Um, I just want to quickly share a very vivid dream I had last night before I forget. Um, not so much that I want to share it with people, but because I want to remember it. I don't want to forget it. It was so, so real. Um, it's June 22nd. Uh, it's been a long time since I've had a vivid dream about my wife. And um, I was, um, the dream goes, I was on my knees embracing my wife. I had my arms wrapped around her legs and basically my head pressed against her abdomen and holding her very tightly. And in the dream, I was aware that she was going to die. Now, of course, in reality, when she was alive, I had no idea she was going to die. But in the dream, I knew she was going to leave. She was going to die. And I was holding on to her, desperately wanting to embrace her and feel her and touch her and, and not let her go. And, I, and, and, and the, my emotions were so deep. And I was trying to speak, and I could barely get the words out. I was... My voice was hoarse, not from speaking, but just from emotion, and I remember just trying to squeak it out, and it was so intense, holding on to her, feeling her, and, uh, and I said, slowly, and, 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 <laughs> you know, almost weeping, almost, but not quite, you know, I don't want you to go, and as soon as I said that, I felt her put her hands on my shoulders, and I heard her say, it's okay. And then a second later, that was it. She was gone. I was aware that I was awake. I woke up, basically, and my arms were, <clears throat> were like this underneath my pillow. So it was like my arms were in this position, not quite holding onto my pillow, but basically I hadn't moved from my, from my dream. In my dream, I was holding onto her so tight. And then I wake up. She says, it's okay, I wake up, and I'm like this, and she's gone. And it was such a profound dream, because it, it uh, made me aware uh, of how intense my emotions were. Um, not that I was unaware, but... Um, it was almost like um, she was giving me permission... Um, to, to let go and be happy, if you like. I've heard other people say that, and, and it's, that's always bothered me. But um, it reminded me of a, an older friend of mine who, who, when she was very young, she was married and she lost her husband at a very early age. And she grew up most of her life raising her son on her own. And she shared a dream that she had with me. And it was her husband approaching her and um, and as I recall um, he put his hand on the small of her back and straightened her back and I don't know what he said I can't remember but the gist of her dream was he was giving her permission to get married again and that was that was the dream she needed to, to move on in life if you will after years and years and years of of being alone and um, having relationships but um, it was like a, it was like her husband was just encouraging her, and and I remember her sharing that with me. Now I'm not saying this dream that I had last night was saying, "Go on and get married." That's not what I'm saying. But it was very reassuring and very comforting, and very 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 uh, intense. And I don't want to forget those those feelings. Um, I could just feel her. I just I did not want her to go. Um, I think um, another thing that could have triggered the dream was reading uh, something that someone had shared on the widowers, widows and widowers uh, website, and he was um, sharing some of the things that he was grateful for that he would never realized or been been grateful for unless his partner had died. And that is a that is a huge thing to 
to confess, to share, to admit that one can be grateful for um, losing one's partner is, you know, is, I'm aware that people can feel tremendous guilt for that because obviously no one wants to be grateful for the loss of their partner. Um, but he was sharing this and it was really, really profound for me um, because I know in my life, to me, to be glad that my wife is gone would be a horrendous uh, thing to, to, to say or to feel, you know. But I'm aware that many people uh, who go through what I'm going through, you know, losing a, a spouse or a partner, will feel tremendous guilt over it and will refuse to be happy, like me, refuse to be happy. I'm not glad that Ruth is gone. And yet it's hindering me from, from enjoying life. And it's also, I'm harboring resentment towards everybody else whose lives are moving on, who are having children and growing up with families. And it's just poisoning me. And, uh, uh, <laughs> had a glass of whiskey last night and I was typing on Facebook, but I never entered it. I never entered the post, but I, I was saying, this is enough of enough of this. I'm tired of feeling so angry. I want to let go of my anger and, uh, you know, by God's grace, allow myself to be happy. Um, and not resent others. And I never posted it, but it was a bit of a <laughs> bit of a milestone. Uh, you know, I mentioned that there's there's no way I could do this on my own strength because everything around me seems to trigger how painful this is. But um, you know, by God's grace, I was going to choose a better attitude. So these things, this guy's post on the widower's website, my half drunken confession <laughs> on Facebook, which I have yet to post you know, wanting to, to, to move on and, um, and let go of the pain and start rejoicing with others, you know, and then this dream last night showing me that, yes, <laughs> you know, anyway. So, that's my dream, that's my confession, and we'll see what happens. I think my next um, entry I would like to do is, um, I'm seriously considering getting a puppy dog. So I'm 41 years old, nope, I'm not, I don't get to show off my boy, my son, my child, my daughter, I get to show off my puppy dog. Yay. See, that's one of the things I have to let go of because I'm so angry about that. But there you go. So I have to let go and try to just be happy for what it is. So, maybe I'll show you a puppy dog in my next, in my next entry. Bless you guys. See you, bye.